I'm Lauren Miller, principal at CDM Smith in climate change. I think it's the biggest issue we're facing as a society. We really need to be focusing on resilient solutions and how we're going to manage and adapt to climate change impacts. I'm Elena Perekis-Ellis and I'm the city engineer for the city of Melrose, Massachusetts. I'm working not only with water and wastewater, I'm also working um, with transportation. This ties in with climate resiliency, <laughs> helping people get out of their cars, get on bikes, get on foot, um, you know, get around in different ways. I, I grew up in a household with a, with a father who was an engineer and I, since I was a little girl, he would tell people, this is my daughter, the engineer, because I liked math, I liked science. Mm. My dad used to pull out napkins at restaurants and he always had a pen in his pocket <laughs> and he would give me math problems when we were you know, at a family dinner. Oh, wow. Okay. Yeah, so definitely a passion for math <laughs> in my house. I found my passion taking a half semester ecology course my junior year and that was that was that but looking back thinking about picking up litter on the side of the road because Nickelodeon had the big help campaign <laughs> in the 90s kind of all ties back to when you're younger yeah the outreach to kids when they're really young mm -hmm. and just educating them about the importance of water and why it's important that we keep the environment clean. They're little sponges and they love, they love this topic. Yeah, I think whatever we can do to get kids interested in, in water and climate change and resilience and figuring out how to bridge the gap to interest and concern so you can make a, a career out of it, uh, especially for young girls and making sure they still feel confident in their math and science skills. A lot of women want a profession where they feel like they're making a difference in the world. Yeah. And I think the environmental and water fields and climate change, they, you know, there, there's a big impact to be had. 